Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about opening up and using an HTTP server with Python. Let's get started. So I've had a couple of questions over the last couple of days of people asking me, how do we go about loading up like a D3 example and using um, a, a, a server? So let's actually go in and do this. So if, let's say I have this nice stock example that we had, and this is from a past video. What if we wanted to go on and open up this HTML along with this JavaScript file, which uh, plots out the data and it grabs data from this location here, this uh, uh, data stock values .csv. So how, how could we go about opening that up? Well, one way is just to open and do index.html and we get this, oh, and let me actually show it over here. We get this. Notice there is nothing over here inside. It just says stock price, which is inside of our HTML. Okay, there's nothing, there's really nothing in here besides our D3 example, etc. If I right click on here and I inspect our elements, we get a bunch of errors in here. Okay, so one thing is, we get this cross origins request. Now, if if I open this and I go over to Chrome, because currently I'm in, I'm currently in Safari. I'll, I'll do this so that you guys can see both views here. So, and I right click and I inspect in a console. Notice here I have access fetch at, and again, it has some error in here, origin null. Now as blocked by cores policy. Okay, well that's that's the same here as saying this cross origins requests is only supported here. So there's there's this error in here, okay? And again, it says something like it failed to load because there were some errors with the data and uncaught uh, error type with this fetch, all of these, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a bunch of a, a bunch of information in there, okay? Now, one way we want to kind of have this fixed, okay? Well, the first thing is that we are opening up the index uh, directly in this particular example is going to require us to have an, um, a server, okay? So if, if you get this error, this cross origin request, or you get this fetch core uh, blocked by cores policy, well, you need an HTTP uh, server basically. So what we can do is we can do python -m -http server. Now, if, if you don't have Python installed, you're going to have to install Python. Okay, so that can be done very easily going to the web and you can just Google uh, download Python. Okay, and you can click on, make sure that it's python.org, click on python.org and install the latest version. Okay, so that would change this. It, some of you may need to type in, let's say like Python, three or you may need a capital P, it'll, it'll change uh, varyingly. And some of you also may, to, may need to install the, um, so like if you run this and a pop-up comes up from, um, from VS Code, okay, it may be wanting you to go on and install a package. So we could look at the extensions in here and we can do Python. And again, it may want you to install, for example, uh, a Python extension that is from Microsoft. And that's perfectly fine too. You can go on and install that as well, and it'll help you out. So we can now hit enter. And if you see here, it's starting serving HTTP on colon colon port 8000. And again, it has this uh, location kind of uh, built into it. Now what you need to do, if we go over here to our example, if I wrote, refresh this, notice it still doesn't work because it's not actually, right now we're just reading the file. We need to actually go to localhost 8000 and hit enter and notice now, now our example works perfectly fine. Okay, so the whole reason that this doesn't work is because we didn't have this server up and running. Now you can also run a server with Node.js, and I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. But one of the better ways to do this is to use Python-m. M makes it so that you're running something basically from a module or you're running it from the command line. 
in here and then http.server and this should settle up all of those issues again if we look here we don't have any any issues coming from our console now if you guys like this and you want more of this please comment subscribe hit that like button i will see you guys next time Bye bye